today is uh, what is the day uh, august 21st columbus ohio uh, sunday 2016 i'm recording this video very seriously uh, this is my room where i am living uh, the rent of this uh, single bedroom apartment is 780 dollars so we two guys are sharing and yeah, this is how i have severe lower back pain uh, because of this bed and i thought of uh, feel like um, dying uh, i don't like to live anymore i feel really uh, that depressed when i read uh, some of these stupid guys writing comments especially they speak telugu and uh, they are living in uh, yes this is my roommate room so i just clean everything today very clean it was not like this earlier so what i suggest is um, put paper here down here also when you shave or uh, paint your head or dye right uh, i think almost uh, two years clean i bought this table from costco 40 bucks and this chair too yeah as you know i'm an on call and paying 40 bucks for this 60 bucks for this wireless device Yesterday somebody from medicine they called uh, their sister son he brought from India uh, he is an employee of TCS but he forced him to resign uh, sponsor it should be some geo some geo system somebody for three months he has not been paying any money and uh, he is running payroll but he will recover recover that money from the employee same like my employer is doing. I almost eight years I completed my stay here. I have severe lower back pain because I'm driving between New York and Ohio, 800 miles and 16 miles. See when Kata Kneni he posted some 50 comments today. He's saying get out like that. Yesterday another guy also I you know his name ID is, looks like fake ID. He wrote very bad in Telugu. Especially Telugu is living in America or uh, targeting me in person because I am speaking truth. I felt like really dying because one guy friend, a good friend, international student read him. He wrote he felt like ashamed as an Indian because none of the Indian links are doing H1B filing 3. They are looting. Their job is nothing. They are doing a broker job. Take your document, give it to US government. Is what the media not from India and uh, USA identified. Earlier I thought of go back but now I don't feel like go back because all the relatives, friends, everybody treat first day but on the day two they think they ask how much money did you earn. What money did you earn? My ex colleague Santosh, sorry Rara Santosh, I am telling your name. He is now in Texas, earlier he was in Maryland. Because of his call I drove from Maryland to Pennsylvania to Maryland, Maryland to Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, his parents came from India so I drove, I drove back the day it's thousand miles almost so he knows how much I love him, I took him to a temple to stop smoking a very good friend of mine, he also called and asked how much money did I save this is what every friend, Edison or anybody they all think but they don't know that Indian links recover the money they give salary as a loan but they will take it back because the middle layer takes dollar forty five to dollar fifty an hour. The middle layer and this Indian links, Indian employers violate prevailing wage, basic rules. So they will take it back once you hit a high project. 
The hiring manager is also correct. So currently, this JP Morgan says so your hiring manager taking ten dollars an hour, and my employer is recovering. If they haven't done that within this four months duration, I would have paid back all my loans and the car and other debts. But that's not the case. I paid three hundred thirty-five bucks for uh, Cloud Technologies earlier. Also, I paid Windows VMware Exchange almost. Fifteen hundred bucks I spent in a year to up, to upgrade myself in the market. It's for refreshment. I can't follow YouTube or read books, right? So I have to spend money to interact with the faculty. Of course, I can teach, but I need to upgrade, right? Unless I learn from somebody, how do I know that something so that nobody pays? So really pathetic and I called my parents, they told my cousin brother, he is working as an advocate in a small village. He bought a house two storied, purchased a house. Whereas you yourself struggling a lot and not forget about savings or money, at least life is not happy, why are you living there, come back. I felt like go back to India and I felt like die. Die in the sense, not suicide. I want to die just like that during the sleep. So that is what I really frustrated. America is great. Americans build their nation, but Indians they are destroying here by caste, religion, religion, and EUC. Uh, an American colleague told, unfortunately, I born here as an American, but today Indians wrote very good friends. Uh, Feel ashamed as an Indian. An Indian from UK wrote, Australia called on Skype. Generally, I don't entertain calls. From Singapore, Malaysia, he wrote, is in Vietnam, is an Indian employer is not paying salaries. Wherever Indians go first in the 52 nations on this planet, they try to rip the fellow Indian who is arriving for studies or work. That is what I have been. Receiving messages, I'm just re reading and speaking out the people's voice. It's not my personal story. Family members say, Don't cry. If you have a problem, come back. But every Indian H1B is crying at his house, he's in depression, he's in mourning. Kill, I didn't buy any house. Yet. If they buy house, they're dead. Because layers loot money. Indian layers or American middle legal layers loot money. Hiring managers loot money. How do we pay mortgages? And too many people are looting which one waste money. This is this high drama of Americans displaced after not hiring Americans. After 55% graduates of US are not getting jobs. Understand? If anybody buy a house here, they are just dead. Unless both couple has a wonderful job, 100k to 200k. That's what Ravi, my friend, explained. They're dead. They have to commit suicide if they lose job. See, not knowing this, some friends from offshore, they say, or colleagues, oh, my friend got settled, he settled in six years, why not you in eight years like that? So they do not know what is settlement. Buying house, a car, and kids is settlement. Then what about people living in poverty? across the globe or in India. There is nothing called settlement, there is just death or suicide, only two things. Before that we have to do something for the society man and the family also of course. Like friend Ravi said, we have to take care of family first. What I realize is this world is corrupted. So you, if you want to become rich, you have to corrupt everybody. Or at least for your survival you have to get corrupt. If you are honest, you are dead. Like in India, systems will kill you or people will kill you. For the honest, sincere and truthful way writing and making videos, I am receiving filthy comments. Especially from Indians. Very few Americans earlier wrote, but nobody, no other nationality are writing. Only Indians are writing. Especially they speak Telugu and they are from US or they are from India. Thank you for watching my videos, I also stop making videos, probably you might notice it.